Hello guys and welcome back to another Club America career mode video and I would like to start off this video by giving every single one of you guys an apology for taking way too long to upload this semi-final video that has been long but I mean long due and uh, that is no one's fault but my own and I would like to again apologize to every single one of you guys I've I've read your comments I've seen that you guys really want me to continue with the video and really just push forward with the team and and you guys are enjoying it and you know I really really love the fact that you guys are enjoying it I'm glad that my content is something that you guys actually like watching and I'm very sorry to every single one of you guys who have subscribed um, who have just you know been telling me to finish the videos and and to finish the series I, I I am completely sorry. It's my own fault. I will promise to uh, to actually upload a little bit more constantly instead of taking you know uh, a month to to upload. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Very very sorry. But um, hopefully you guys uh, still enjoy the videos. I mean, we still have this semifinal right here that we have up against Leon, a very very tough opponent to have, especially in a semifinal. Leon having very very good players, the likes of Boselli. Um, Elias Hernandez, Chapito Montes, and right now Gulit. Um, I know, you know, a lot has happened ever since my career mode. You know, Gulit has moved to Chivas. Um, so has Orblin Pineda, who's on the ball right now. Um, just a lot has happened. So it, it goes to show that it's it's been a while since I've last uploaded. And and again, I would like to sincerely, sincerely apologize to all of you. And um, hopefully, I can get things going better and, and really just, you know update this career mode and just you know keep it going so hopefully uh hopefully you guys can believe me there but um as we get right here some is on the ball and Osman Mares cuts back hits it to some Buesa, and we do hit the post very very unfortunate for us to not go up one nil within the first 30 minutes of the match but um we were playing a very good game at Leon we were very uh, playing a very good game uh, we were actually bringing everything we had to them. Um, we weren't holding back. We were actually pushing forward, trying to look for that goal because that away goal uh, was going to be very, very vital in uh, in deciding in these two legs. So I thought, you know, I'd rest um, some of my starting 11 here. Um, you know, not all my big names are, were playing, mainly because uh, uh, some of them were tired. Um, and I and I really wanted to go into the Azteca with a full 11 that uh, actually was going to be consistent. It was actually going to give me a result that I was wanting. Um, so, you know, a couple of the youngsters had an opportunity here to shine and, and to really just show me what they were capable of. And uh, as we see, Chepa Guerrero's on the ball. And we're trying to counter right here. We have uh, Alex Diaz who gives away the ball very, very bad. And uh, our counter attack is uh, no longer possible. But then... Uh, in the last dying embers of the first half, we're going to uh, pick up the ball here. We're going to start trying to get something going right here. Some uh, simple passes, you know, nothing too fancy. Just trying to keep it in the, the ball on our feet. Rifle again tries to find Alex Diaz. And I started noticing that within the first half, uh, the thing we were doing right was defending. What we were doing wrong was once we got to the last third of the, of the field, uh, we were just not giving a very good ball to our own players which meant that you know our attack would be, be broken down pretty simple but then we're gonna right here Reef is gonna try to cut inside with a nice little bicycle move Gwemes is gonna give it off to Alex Guero Diaz and then look at that what a finish by the youngster putting it in the back of the net beats Yarbrough and what can I say it was a very very good goal very happy with that goal and um uh, and that's exactly what we were looking for. We were looking for that goal that would give us some breathing room in the second leg, especially at our own home field. So to get that goal was very, very important to us. And then we're going to go right here, right back at it. We're going to try to get a second one because having two goals would automatically almost clinch us uh, the next round ticket to the final. And then look, Orbelin Pineda taking this shot. And unfortunately for them, they uh, for us... Uh, they were able to block it, but then look at that. Their defense was just a little bit uh, not as cautious as they should be with the ball, and uh, we almost uh, we almost got a second one right there, uh, but it wasn't meant to be just yet. And we're going to see right here, Javier Wim is going to play it down to the wing where Rifle is. Rifle is going to cut inside. Rifle is going to shoot. Oh, Rifle, what 
What was that? Not his best leg, as we can tell. So then we're going to move on right here to the 72nd minute of the match. Mike Arroyo has entered in for Ruben Sambuesa. Mario Peralta has come in for Alex Eduardo Diaz. And then look at this. May he is going to play it down to the wing. What a rifle is that? Rifle takes the shot. Oh, but Yarbrough doing very well to cut off the angle. And Rifle maybe should have done better than that just to try to use all his force to try to uh, put that ball into the back of the net. Then we're going to have see Mario Bocelli right here. He's one of the very, very best strikers here in Mexico right now. Uh, tries to whip it in. Unable to get anything going. And as you guys can see, Osvaldito Martinez is right there playing against Leon. If uh, you guys forgot, we did sell him in the transfer market, Leon. I uh, did buy him. And then you're going to see right here, Uribe Peralta taking the ball away and uh, scoring the second goal. Very, very crucial and vital goal. Um, kind of almost putting us in the final. Not just yet. We still had to play another game in the Azteca, but uh, very, very well um, pressure for Uribe Peralta. And even better finish from our uh, our clinical striker. So, uh, minute 80 and we were already 2-0 up. And I knew that... Uh, the best thing possible for us to do was just to wait on the ball. Just to wait, wait and uh, hopefully try to get something going here because, uh, you know, it was important for us to get, uh, the, I was about to say the three points, but um, but the, the victory here, especially going in the Azteca with our fans, you know, it was just going to make life so much easier for us. So now we're going to go right here. In the last, last seconds of the match, Mike Arroyo doing wonderful here, right here to get pick up the ball, I thought. And then right here, he takes the shot. Oh, but Nacho, very, very good on the ball. William Yarbrough catches, and that will do it for the first leg. We do go to the Azteca with an advantage of a 2-0 uh, victory. And uh, that only meant one thing, that uh, all we had to do was go to the Azteca, sit back, relax, not really put any much pressure on us. Just let Leon try to do their game. We just have to try to match them for the first 15 minutes. Try to play out the game and see if we can get something going. And the most important thing was for us not to let them get a goal. Because once we, if we let them get a goal within the first 30 minutes of the match, things were going to get a little bit tight. So we're going to move on right here and starting uh, starting the match right away. Giving the ball to Mike Arroyo. Trying to get our quickest players on the ball. Mejia is going to give it off to Orbelin Pineda taking the shot. And oh, we were almost 1-0 up. Uh, the young Mexican doing very, very well. He's been very good for my side. Very unfortunate that he had to go to uh, to Chivas in real life. And then look at this. Oh, a header by Samudio. Almost, almost finding the back of the net. And like I said, very unfortunate he actually went to our rivals, Chivas. But um, nonetheless, he looks like someone that's going to be very, very uh, impressive for Mexico in the years to come. So hopefully he can, uh, he can pick up his rhythm and, you know, have a good Copa America or Olympics, whichever one he he ends up going to. And then look at this. Oh, ho, ho. bueno, with a very, very good opportunity to get Leon going. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he, uh, lo está uh, lamentando for not putting that in the back of the net. And then Benedetto's losing the ball right here with Gallito Vasquez, playing it off to Osvaldito Martinez, giving it off to Rocha. Rocha's going to wait for the run of Hernandez. He's going to try to take me down here. But Jordan Silva doing very, but I mean very good right there. The defender probably not having his best season. You know, Burley came from Toluca. But, you know, little by little, he's starting to cement himself into the team. And then look at this. Oh, Irving. Irving takes the shot. And Irving, by far our best signing and our best player of the season, comes up with a great goal. Dario Benedetto doing wonderful right there to find him. Look at him taking the shot. Wonderful, wonderful things from him. Beating Yarbrough at his near post. Maybe the American goalkeeper should have done better. But uh, it does mean that we are 1-0 up. That means if Leon want to go, they need to score three goals on us. And, uh, well, we're doing our best to try to not let that happen. And as I'm saying that, we almost scored an own goal. But Mike Arroyo giving the ball away very poorly. Giving it off right here. Rocha has an opportunity, and Rocha is not going to waste that. It is 1-1, ladies and gentlemen. 1-1 with just a whole second half to come. And uh, Leon are back at just needing two goals. So, very unfortunate for us again to, uh, to, to concede that we did very poorly. Maybe I should have, you know, 
blasted that ball out and then look at this as we talk about blasting very very good shot from Leon uh, but very very good strong hands from Moises Buñoz then Darío Benedetto is going to take off Mikey Arroyo off to the wing and then Mikey just has to run what can he do can he cut inside yes he is will he shoot no he can't now he will then Yarbrough not a foul and I don't know what was going in there but Leon very very lucky to uh, keep the ball and that will do for the first half so at the time I was rec I was recording this, I I felt good with my team. I felt good. I thought we we, we held the ball pretty good. Um, there was just a couple of mistakes back there that are just really were costing us. So I I, I try to keep my mind more on defensive in the second half. But as as we started off right here, look, Mejia is gonna shoot. He's gonna score, and um, <laughs> yeah, it's two one. I was very very ecstatic. Um, I was very very happy because uh, you know. Uh, we were able to win the ball in, t in the midfield when uh, Leon was just starting to push all their players forward. Uh, one of their midfielders messed up. I was able to intercept the ball. I was able to run down with it. And Mejia all by himself, he wasn't going to miss that. And it was uh, it was 2-1. So now things were looking good. Orvin Pineda really just running all over in the midfield, just dominating everything. Uh, he looked like one of the best players of the game so far. And uh, we're going to get right here. Uh, Dario Benedetto getting close. Looks like it might be a foul. Paolo Aguilar is going to get it off, and then it is. Irvin Lozano. Again, him and Orvin Pineda have been absolutely amazing. Two promises for Mexican football at its best in the semifinals. Uh, great pass from Paolo Aguilar. Let's, 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 let's just admit that. Let's just say that because it was a great, great way to find Irvin Lozano, who <laughs> kind of almost misses it. Almost crashes it into William Yarbrough's uh, body, but um, he does well. He does well, the young Mexican international. So uh, we're going to get the ball right here in the 73rd minute of the match. Or Oribe Peralta is going to give it off to Mejia, who uh, is having a pretty good game himself, too. I, I think the midfield was very solid that game. And, you know, Orban Pineda getting into very good positions right here, as you can see right there. Giving it off to Oribe Peralta, who's going to take the shot. And then Mejia. Oh, Mejia, you almost had your second of the match. But it wasn't meant to be. And um, again, we were playing very, very good football. Oh, that was a deflection. And uh, we're going to get the corner right here. But again, I was very happy with the way the team was playing. And uh, William Yarbrough comes right there. Gets a hand to it. Mario Bocelli plays it down to Burbano. Burbano. I mean, Bocelli wasn't able to get anything. And uh, we're just doing great things right here. As you can see right here. But I thought those cross wasn't good enough to get anything on the ball but um i was happy with the performance of uh the team was showing uh we were really uh united we were really compact and um we didn't really make any mistakes so uh that was good on our, our end and then look elias hernandez taking the shot miguel samudio blocks it but the referee says that is a handball miguel samudio not looking very happy about that but um you know the referee calls it and nothing much we can do you know, the aggregate was already 5-1. Leon needed about four goals if they wanted to get back into this. So, it wasn't uh, it wasn't going to be something that, you know, you're going to let go so easily. We were practically in the final. So, you know, it was just a matter of focusing and not getting the red card. And then look at this. The nice little dink chip does not work out for Leon. And then look at this. We could possibly go on a counterattack. But uh, Leon doing very, very good to... Uh, win the ball back with uh, Johnny Magallon who plays it back to Elias Hernandez and then Chapito Montes and then they were just getting a lot of plays going and then oh we concede another penalty that was very very bad very poorly and um, and just as I was saying Jordan Silva was really uh, becoming this really good defender he goes off and gives away a penalty and uh, very unfortunate for us not to get a goal and then uh, he goes down the middle once again and you know this time he does score and it does mean that it's 3-2, 5-2 on aggregate. Um, they need three more goals within a matter of three minutes. So it looked highly unlikely. And then um, because of that, I was just, you know, I was thinking, okay, let's just, again, hold the ball. Let's just really not try to give anything away. And as I say that, right in the last couple minutes of the match, look at this great strike by Mario Bocelli. Puts it where Munoz would not be able to get, and it would be 3-3 at the end of this match. What a semifinal, I would have to say. Very good semifinal. The fact that we were able to score three goals in the opening uh, 
in the opening minutes of the match meant that, uh, you know, we were pretty much secure. They needed about two more goals, and then Cachiribetas almost does something wonderful here in uh, the last couple of seconds of the match, doing anything he can so, uh, with a solo goal, but uh, he wasn't able to get it. But that does mean we are in the final. So very, very exciting things happening here. I know it's been quite a while since I last uploaded, but, um, you know, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Our next final is going to be a very, against a very, very tough team. I would get have to say it's by far one of the best teams, if not the best team in the Liga MX. If it isn't us, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be who we're playing here in the final. And um, it's a little bit frustrating. It's a little bit tough, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will bring you guys the final soon, but until next time, take care.